don't do that. But she wasn't having it. Wow. So they refused the permit. That's crazy. You're just helping people out, man. We appreciate it. Hikers actually, appreciate it, I promise. Yeah. Actually, you know what they did to refuse the permit? Is they said, oh. uh, Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day eight. We had a peaceful night in Helen, Georgia. Really cool little town. Very, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Bavarian, maybe? That's a good one. Uh, stayed at the, the Budgetel Inn and Suites. I can tell you what, it was worth every penny. Because we trashed that place. Golly, all of our stuff was wet. We got dried out and uh, cleaned up. We're back on trail this morning. Uh, we are going over... What What was that that we just went over? Rocky Mountain. We went over Rocky Mountain. That was a tough climb. Uh, we're coming down Rocky right now. And then we're going to go up Trey Mountain. Which on the profile looks terrifying. But I've been told it's not that bad. Uh... But, we're having a good morning. Uh, Otis is back with us. Yes, he is. He's a good boy. Makes me miss my Lottie and my Oliver. Something crazy. Oh, and I guess I miss Wags, too. Anyway, I'll uh, catch back up with you guys when there's something cool to look at. All right. I just realized something. I'm going to get weird here for a minute, so just buckle in. I have been selfish all my life, whether it was with time or patience or giving of myself or helping someone else. I just realized that this trail community is teaching me that no matter where I am on this trail, someone is always going to be there to help me. And I should always try to be there for them even though that's not my way and that's not the way I've lived my life a lot of times I love the way this trail is showing me the way that I need to change and giving me the opportunities to change it it's almost like like it was meant to do that huh yeah. Whew. Trey Mountain. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Thanks for letting me ramble. I love seeing stuff like this where people have made little offshoots. Uh, so you can fill up water and stuff. That's whoever made this. Good idea. Great, uh, great looking out. Thank you. It's well appreciated. Whew. Coming down off a of tray, backside of tray. Climb up tray wasn't that bad. Uh, well, that's a lot of rock steps. Feet are already hurting. Whoops, almost tripped. I start getting tired. I'm not picking my feet up. Five more miles to the shelter. Doing good. A lot of climbing today. A lot of climbing.
Oh. Good afternoon, campers. It's four o'clock. We just went over Trey. I haven't really done a lot of filming today. It has been a climber's day. Guaranteed, sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't really have my phone out and all this slippery stuff, but whatever. It's been cold, it's been windy. We went up and over, starting low, we went up and over three, 4,000 footers in a single day. That's uh, quite a bit of climbing. I think all in all, uh, we're gonna have close to 14 miles and uh, a little, a little over 7,000 feet total elevation gain. So, oh, it has been a, it's been a tough day. A nice day, I mean, a good day. Uh, get ready for North Carolina and the climbs are gonna be bigger and longer, so we're just getting stronger. But yeah, whew, wow, what a day. Uh, I'll check back in at camp. Hey guys, uh, whew. Today was a long day, uh, about 13 and a half. We had a lot of elevation, uh, 6,000, almost 6,200, I think. Went over three, 4,000 foot peaks. Uh, yeah, today was a tough day, tough, tough day. We're at camp, I've already eaten. I'm in my tent, uh, it's not that late, but I'm just, cold <laughs> i'm just cold so i'm just gonna go to bed because i'm not sure what else to do uh lows and highs for today i don't know uh didn't really have any lows i guess uh, just maybe the just intense climbing kind of got my feet you know kind of worked up uh, but i've you know really massaged the crap out of them and kind of got the blood flowing back and I'm okay there. Um, positives. Oh, well, just, uh, I guess one of the positives was coming up Trey Mountain. Uh, right before we started up Trey Mountain, we were at like an overlook and you could get uh, a really great look of the mountain. And at the very top of the mountain, there was still ice all over the, the branches from yesterday's fog and everything. Um, so it was really cool. It was sort of like a little winter wonderland. I think I took a picture of it earlier in the day, but we were much lower and it was a little bit colder, but up on the top of Trey with all the ice and everything, and you could walk through and the, the wind was blowing it off the, uh, off the branches. So it looked like it was kind of, kind of like it was snowing. I don't know. Not really, but, uh, <laughs> it was just a fun day. Just a lot of climbing, a lot of miles. I'm tired. I go to bed. Uh, tomorrow I've got uh, four point something, four point five or whatever to Dix Creek Gap, where I will get a shuttle or hitch into Hiawassee, and I'm gonna take a Nero in Hiawassee. Uh, a Nero is a day where you do some miles, but not a lot. Uh, a zero is when you take zero miles. You don't do any walking at all. So tomorrow I'm going to Nero into Hiawassee and just spend the day just kind of relaxing and sort of recouping. It's supposed to be really cold tomorrow night. So I'm not really sure I want to be on top of a mountain when it's super cold. I've got a good bag and good gear, but it's not, it's not rated for super cold. So... You know, we'll do what we can uh, until it kind of starts warming up a little bit. If I need to stay in town, I'll stay in town. It's no big deal. Uh, missing my family, missing my wife. I'm still having fun, but I'm missing my wife. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, talk to you guys early in the morning. All right. Good night, guys. Morning campers, making our way 
down into Dix Creek Gap and go into Hiawassee for a little resupply, a little Nero. Did not sleep at all last night. My back is really bugging me. I don't know, it's kind of the same thing I've had for a while, but it's like I can feel it. It's like the sciatic nerve or something is getting pinched. I can feel it usually just down into my butt, but like all night last night, I was feeling it down into my like uh, mid leg, almost knee. Look at all these weird little creepy tunnely things. This is all mountain laurel. It hasn't really started to come out yet, but it's, it's sure pretty. I mean, the stalks are really cool and weird and creepy and twisty. <sighs> kind of neat looking. Whew, man, is it cold. Wow, we froze last night. We had about 30 people at camp. It was chilly. Oh, yeah, I got mm, maybe two miles left down to the gap, and then I'll catch back up with everybody. Some more of these ice needles. I'll catch back up with everybody when I get to Hiawassee or the or the gap, I guess. All right. Good morning, everybody. At Hostel Around the Bend. Hanging out with everybody. It's a pretty cool place. Just hanging out with some hiker trash. Uh, enjoying a Coke. Sitting here with Turtle and Pup. <laughs> Waiting on a ride. We'll be in Hiawassee tonight. Uh, everything is pretty good. So my back, my back is, <laughs> my back's hurting. But we'll see what's going on. All I can do is just keep trucking. <laughs> see you guys. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I am at the. Uh, where am I? Holiday Inn or something? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna hang out here for a couple of days. My back is uh, not doing well. And I'm going to enter a section where it's going to be pretty hard to get off trail if I needed to. Uh, and then three days from now, Friday is going to be a pretty significant rain event. And it's going to be cold enough that it's probably going to snow at, a, at elevation. Uh, so... I got a hold of Tammy and said, hey, I'm going to stick around for a couple of days because I really got to rest my back. Uh, I don't know. It is what it is. But uh, today we did get like five miles in down to uh, Dick Creek Gap or, yeah, Dick Creek Gap. Uh, and then uh, I caught a uh, shuttle into hostel around the bend which that's what the the indoor shots were pretty cool place uh you can just kind of go and just kind of hang out uh it's pretty neat uh saw some old friends uh fruit snacks and uh turtle and pup were there uh a bunch of other people but i didn't really know them um and then uh they had a shuttle out of the hostel that went into hiawassee so i i hung around and uh, caught that shuttle into town and got my got my room here and uh, be here for a couple of days. Just kind of resting. Uh, anyway, uh, lows and highs for today. Uh, the the low for today really uh, would have to be the weather. It was it was so cold this morning. Jeez, it was just nasty cold. The wind wouldn't let up. And I have a duplex, and if you know what that is, it's kind of got a 
a little mesh area. I was trying to describe it to my wife too, but if it's windy outside, guess what? It's windy in your tent too. Uh, and it was probably, uh, I don't even know, maybe 20, maybe 22 or something around there last night. It was cold, cold. Uh, that was probably the negative. Just, I couldn't get any sleep because my, my face was cold all night. And, but, uh, the positive for the day was low miles and the miles were generally easy. We had one big climb, uh, to start the day, but that was actually not bad because it kind of warmed me up a little bit. Um, did the first, uh, first part of the day with, uh, a girl that I'd met a couple of days ago named Tacos. Uh, she's, uh, really cool. A lot, a lot of fun to kind of hang around with and, uh, she and I kind of went back and forth where she would stop and I'd go past and then, you know, I'd stop to get a drink or a snack or something. And she'd go past and we got, we got into the tag, you're it kind of thing. So that was kind of fun. Uh, but she continued on. I, I got off to, to come out here to Hiawassee, but, uh, yeah, pretty decent day. Uh, last couple of days have been okay. Uh, not any big deal. Just, I'm kind of worry about my back so i'll be here for a couple of days just uh stretching and and relaxing it and just keeping my pack off we'll see how it goes uh that's all i can do anyway um i'll be here for a couple of days so i probably won't do any filming unless you know there's something going on that needs to be filmed maybe so i will catch back up with you uh plan on getting back on trail saturday and I won't be able to uh, have access to Wi-Fi or anything like that until uh, probably uh, Tuesday. So my next video will be sort of long. It'll have, you know, three or almost four days on it. So anyway, uh, thanks for hanging around. <laughs> I'm not trying to get rich off this. I'm just having fun, just making videos for basically just family and friends. So, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just goofing. All right, guys, uh, it's like 10:30. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. See you guys in a couple of days. <laughs>